By examining the guts, Joy hopes to see how such a large animal absorbs enough food. Having a very large intestine is going to be part of the powerhouse that gives the fuel to keep such a large animal alive and moving. So what we're hoping to see is basically the factory inside that's making all of the energy to keep this animal alive. The team removes the elephant's skin, revealing this animal's first unique adaptation. I'm absolutely gobsmacked how heavy this skin is. It is amazing. It's amazing. In fact, it's like tough you can almost not hold on to it. I mean, it's difficult. It is heavy. To carry it's very the weight. heavy. I think most people see an elephant as a, such a large animal, they assume it's a fat animal, but it's really not a fat animal. And it looks fat because it's got a very big abdomen it's full very, of a fantastic. It's hysterical, but it's really it's, not. Its digestive system gives it that appearance, isn't it? Yeah. Which we're going to look at. Which is, the, which is the next part of the procedure. What's the approach going to be to this? Well, we're going to take a line across here. Yeah. Reveal it back, and then just use. Only gravity is going to end up with it. On <laughs> your feet. That's the on idea. The floor. Okay. Richard, hold yours. Okay, you can see the ribs nicely there, can't we? And you can begin to see now that the body wall is actually made up of a number of muscle layers. And you can see three of them here, three separate muscle layers. The muscles running in different directions to give that extra support so the muscles won't tear in any one direction. You've got that cross support. Ah, here we are. So you're now into peritoneum now. Yep. A few final slices and the elephant's digestive system emerges. And it's huge. Can you stand back, please? This massive system provides the energy needed to keep this enormous body going. Wow. That is colossal. That is incredibly big. That I don't is... think I expected it to be that big. I diameter. did not expect it to be that big. Like humans, the elephant's intestines are held in place by a special tissue called the omentum. So we're looking at here is the omentum, which is a, a fine tissue that holds all the blood vessels that are wrapping around the gut in this area. It's a very, very fine network of capillaries running through that tissue. The tissue not only keeps the gut together, it helps protect them from injury or infection. If there's any damage to the wall of the intestine and there's a lesion or a hole penetrating through, this can clamp down over that hole and stop anything leaking out and spreading around the rest of the body cavity. Absolutely. It's, so, it's such a beautiful tissue. It's yeah. nature's Band-Aid. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a little warm. Let's take this one up this way. Next, the team unravels the intestines for a closer look at each part in more detail. Right, we need to, General, yep. can you sort of pull that that way? So we it's to not an it. easy job. It should be the, the easy to set. <laughs> Rectum. Yeah, that's the best one. Extra pair of hands is. Again, you can see the, t the tension here with lots of gas being produced and some liquid content as well. So we just need to relieve all that pressure. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you did that deliberately. 